What's up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today is release day of Hidden Fates. Happy release day, everyone. It's finally here. This has been a long day coming. We'll get more to that, but let's just go over real quick before we get into some openings, uh, kind of like the pre-order experience. So, um, did primarily through two different ways, one through GameNerds.com, which to be honest, we buy most of our product, and a eBay seller called Fed Fedusa or Fed USA. I'm not sure, but uh, I don't know. They came and gave us like a uh, little postcard thing, and the winner was actually Fedu Fedusa, <laughs> whatever it is. Uh, did manage to be out game nerds. We did get it on release day, and I think that's huge. That's so cool. Um, you know, huge shout out to them. And just to compare, so I think the bigger difference, the biggest difference was that, not that gamers didn't ship it out in time, they actually ship it, but this one was sent to me from Pennsylvania uh, versus the oh, off by one day. But you know, actually that's impressive. Big improvement over other, um, other times or other uh, times I ordered from them, like sometimes like three business days later. But this one was really close and I feel like if it was much closer, so it shipped from Texas, and I guess at the end of the day, like, you know, if you're looking for a good uh, vendor, Game Nerds was cheaper. I think for uh, basically the same, very close to the same price on Game Nerds, I was able to get two extra boxes uh, for the same price. So, but uh, from Fedusa, so if you're closer to like the East Coast like I am, yeah, hey, I think that Fedusa is a great great vendor. Uh, I'm not sure if they have other warehouses, but uh, Game Nerds does ship out at, outside of Texas, so it takes a little bit longer to get to me in the Boston area. So super tight race, and uh, I just want to show one thing from here as far as like, you know, this being a long time coming, I made my pre-order in May 1st. So almost four months ago, <laughs> and uh, it's finally here. Actually, just one more thing before we get into it. Uh, I did kind of uh, offer to a couple of subs that, you know, like, oh, I got my polls, I got some really good stuff. And I kind of offered, oh, you want me to show show off your polls on the channel? I did offer that, and um, Subsonic Beatbox, I'll put his link to his channel down below. Um, did, did take me up on that offer, so he messaged me on Instagram. So if you want to do the same thing, just uh, message me on Instagram. I believe my Instagram is down below, and it's, uh, yeah, it's just I want a turtle. And I clicked the wrong thing. All right, so we, the um, Subsonic Beatbox did get some sick pulls. Looks like he got four boxes, and he pulled an Alolan Ninetales shiny. That is a good one. Ninetales is definitely my favorite Alolan species. The only thing is like the shiny, What's different about it? <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, if if this had like a different background, like let's just say it was like a complete dark background, you take away these sparkles, and you told me it wasn't a shiny, I would believe you. Like, oh, that's the full. <laughs> that's the only thing about uh, Alolan Ninetales, but definitely my favorite Alolan species. And it looks like he also got some other great pulls. He got that Raichu GX and and the Mewtwo. That's great from the. I believe these are from the family collection and then for shiny oh malamar that's a good one malamar is still in like standard rotation um on the then the eevee that's another great one just because the energy evolution is super useful and lucario uh gabite very cool pokemon i think this like gabite this this uh gibble gabite this uh specific evolution set like i thought it was really cool with that session ascension abilities to quickly evolve it so uh congrats on the poll uh, those are some very cool ones. I think, uh, yeah, that Ninetales, that's a very, very cool hit right there. So in case you're wondering uh, where you can get it, so at least my, not so local, but I drew, did drive out to Walmart this morning, as well as a Target, and neither one of them had any, but a couple, couple of other subs have mentioned that they've had success at both of them, even a couple days early, which is absolutely insane. Uh, where I actually managed to get mine was at GameStop. Um, the only thing was though, like I waited there for them to open and, and that's where I got it. Like they only had seven boxes. So GameStop does have them and I think they're really good about, you know, all right, we're not putting them out till release day, but I was kind of not too crazy about the amount of supply that they had. So uh, obviously this is a very much a your mileage may vary kind of situation, but um, yeah, all three, of, all three of those, definitely go check them out if you're still having trouble finding it. And one thing I want to hit is just to go over kind of like how the prices are doing it. And maybe we'll do this every once in a while too, like a kind 
kind of like M Cold 40 uh, market watch kind of thing. So let's just take a look on eBay. And guys, if you are having trouble, like this thing is so popular that definitely plenty of more supply will come. I definitely discouraged overpaying to get something on the first day so like these things for $50 that's that's insane like 15 tops <laughs> or no 15 is MSRP so to pay over MSRP for a Pokemon product that just came out is to me very silly and oh my gosh 75 uh, alright maybe we don't need to check eBay too long this is just crazy like what what is the closest thing there's like not even like a $40 50 is like the cheapest that's crazy um, TCG player is pretty slow for on people getting their things up. There's no Charizard, which is interesting. Uh, but the, the rainbow looks like there's a couple uh, as low as 55, and then the other Charizard from there. Um, I definitely not planning on picking up anything just yet. I'll probably let things settle a little bit. Let's see for Charizards on eBay, 400 is about as low as it goes. I have to imagine that's going to bottom out more or go d uh, lower significantly before it really bottoms out. So, I, while like hey, anything can happen, I highly doubt it will stay at 400. And Troll and Toad, um, they actually do have a good amount of listings, but uh, so we'll kind of just use this as a kind of like more of like a tiering. I don't, I, obviously, like websites like Troll and Toad, like versus TCG Player or eBay, you can get a little bit cheaper, and that reflects on the Charizard price. 450, uh, but then looks like Shrine of Punishment. That makes sense to me. That's a very good card. Man, Tabu Lele is still, at least on Troll Toad, over $100. Like, guys, imagine if this was still in standard rotation. This is crazy. Cynthia, which is, is only $100. That's how, that's how great Tabu Lele is. And yeah, just a big missed opportunity in my opinion. Definitely don't buy these tins. $90, like, I think this will probably MSRP for 20 So, yeah, any, like, sealed stuff i feel like online it's going to be kind of tough to find at this point i think if you wait a week it'll settle back to where it should be which is much closer to 15. actually even tcg player like this is totally absurd that the boxes they're basically sold out that's what this means um, as low as 33 and 70. um but yeah let's see all right from there there's a uh, oh shiny me too actually um 80 okay that's I mean, that's about right. Uh, Brooklet Hill, and then at this point we got the stadiums, which so like those can actually be useful. Don't buy this at 75. This thing should MSRP around 50, I believe. Then and then we got the gold card. So the gold cards are pretty high, at least according to Troll and Toad. Guzma only around 60. And then from there we have the rest of the cards. So um, obviously, ooh, this is wow, third 40. Um, actually, I'm not sure if that's good or bad, but. Uh, that is the only rainbow rare, I believe. But uh, yeah, so Charizard, obviously the biggest hitter, going for about $400 right now. And um, all right, I think it's time. All right, pre-ordered these back in May. Oh no, wait, not these exact ones. These ones I picked up at GameStop. <laughs> so we are gonna do one of each. We got a Mewtwo and a Mew. Let's finally get into it. Let's move us to the side and all right, so we got six packs as well as two, I guess two pins, the pin collection box, and the two promos. And struggling a little bit to get into this thing. Uh, so yeah, yeah, I took uh, three different stores, two stores yesterday to see if anything had early. I think the Walmart I went to, I think I asked, they had like a very small Pokemon section, but usually they have two sections where there's like a Pokemon section in the like toy section, and then they just have a general trading card section like that's where like the magic the gathering is and then eventually i asked someone they're like oh yeah we actually don't have a trading card section which i thought was very bizarre and then the target just didn't have it i was pretty disappointed about that and then went to work eventually gamestop opened up and managed to pick up six boxes so this is the mew one it's not bad we got the promo and three packs the other one. Okay. Yeah, so if you want to show off some polls, uh, just hit me up on Instagram and I'm happy to show them in a video. And congrats again to Subsonic Beats. All right, let's take a look at these guys. Mind Report. Oh, okay, this is, these are reprints. So Psychic 
bench bear mirror bear is pretty good and mine report i thought was good but i never really saw it used and i'm guessing these just have those cards all right um, don't have time to sleeve it up oh he's the mewtwo that's just okay we got six packs Biggest hit being that Charizard. I cannot imagine that thing's holding $400. Uh, and man, the pull rates are amazing, it seems. I feel like it seems uh, just over or under 50% of the time people are getting hits. And all right, into our first pack. What oh, happened to my zoom? Or my focus? Focus. We have a Leaf Energy, Brock's Grit, Misty's Determination, oh, both of them, Pokemon Center Lady, Slowpoke, Pikachu, Charmander, nice, Volt, ooh, I like that, Voltorb, a Coughing, all right, all right, so this is the reverse slot is, I believe, when you get the shiny, so no shiny on the first pack, but we have a regular rare Snorlax, I do really like that art. That really encompasses Snorlax. Just kind of laying down, taking a nap. Incredible snore. <laughs> for these two DCEs for 100 damage. That is super vanilla. Alright. For our next one, we have a Darkness Energy. Brock's Pewter City Gym. What does this do? Onyx GX. That's very specific. Giovanni's, oh, I would love to get the full art of that. LT Surge, Caterpie, Charmander, Clefairy, Psyduck, Magikarp, Cubone for the reverse, so no shiny again, and then a regular rare Kangaskhan. Oh, no hit so far. Making me nervous, despite the, the rates seem to be really good. All right, so let's do let's let's get something. Brock's grit again. Ooh, far fetched. I think these are probably from the either the gyms, the gym decks, or the um, family pack thing. Because a lot of these art I'm not familiar with. Geodude, Jigglypuff, a Staryu, Weezing, surrender now. Once during this Pokemon is discarded, discarded with the effect Jesse and James, you have. Discard a card from your hand. Hmm. Then a Blaine's Last Stand from Dragon's uh, Dragon's Majesty. Ooh, one one already one box down and nothing to show for it. What's happening? Ooh, looks like there might be something in here. Come on, let's catch back up. We have a Psychic Energy. Bro, how many Brock Squirts are we gonna have? Graveler. Farfetched, I do like that art. Voltorb, coughing, Ekans with the Articuno in the background. Oh, that means that's like the art from Unified Minds, that means. Ooh, our first shiny, and it is a Garchomp uh, to evolve from uh, Subsonic's uh, Gabite. And then a Bill's Analysis? Was this always a rare? Bill's, an Bill's Analysis. Actually, that card's actually used. So, our first shiny! And it is a Garchomp. Very nice. Shiny count has entered one. Oh, I did uh, say I'll try to figure out how to do a live stream. So um, if it comes by like 7 p.m., that means I couldn't figure out how to do it. But I'll take some time to see if I can't get that up and running. So... Although I guess, uh, I'm not sure how much heads up that will be. Charmeleon. Ooh, I like that Charmeleon too. Ekans again. Cubone. Magikarp. Geodude. And boom. Oh, nope. Oh, Clefairy. Ah, uh, Arbuck. I think this is like alternate art though, which is kind of cool. And another. Ooh. Our, the rare slot is like being terrible. Terrible to us. And uh, yeah, definitely the one we're looking for there would be that. The Jesse and James card and the Giovanni. Actually, I guess the Charizard GX obviously will be nice as well, but I believe that will come in the tin. So, it's 
kind of like, yeah, sure, I want it, but can just pick it up from the tin. All right, last pack for this, and definitely we'll be doing tons of opening of this set. And uh, hey, congrats again to Pokey Cario for winning the pin collection box giveaway, and we'll do another one. Let's say we'll. Ooh, reverse energy. These are always cool. Uh, we'll do another giveaway. We'll announce it tomorrow, I think. So stay tuned for that video. Reverse fighting energy and oh, Cleef Fable. Rough start, guys. <laughs> Super rough start, but uh, these promos are not too shabby. And we did get a shiny Garchomp. So yeah, uh, I'll try to do a live stream. If not, definitely be tons of Hidden Fates content. It's finally here. Happy release day, everyone. Um, this is this is a huge set. And uh, don't overpay, but definitely pick up some product when you can. Uh, condolences to everyone on Australia that has to wait till, I believe, like people were saying, like after September 10th to get their pre-orders. And that is painful. Uh, I'm very sorry to hear that, but uh, best of luck to everyone else finding product, and best of luck on your polls. And uh, I'm Wanda Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.